This is Most Julius with YAG Radio. I have a quick video for you. And today we're going to explain uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 8. So um, it says, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. So confident is feeling and showing confidence in oneself and you're self-assured. So are you really confident that when you are absent from the body, that you are present with the Lord. So religion teaches that this means that when you die, that you will be present with the Lord. So are you confident in this? Not only does it say that we are confident, it says we are willing. Are we really, really willing to be dead, to be present with the Lord? So um, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We have more content coming soon. But are you really willing to be dead to be present with the Lord? Or is God a God of the living? So let's go uh, a little deeper to explain that this does not mean to be dead. Um, this, excuse me, that um, to be absent from the body means to be dead. So let's go to 2 Corinthians 12 and 2. It says, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell. Uh, God knoweth such and one caught up in the third heaven, caught up to the third heaven, excuse me. So what uh, do does this person not know if this person is dead or not? If to not to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, if that means to be dead, then this person just literally said in this verse that he did not know if this person was dead or not. So that's not what it means at all. And uh, as far as uh, caught up to the third heaven, um, this video is made for the seekers. Uh, take a look at a closer look inside the temple, part one and two. And you can type that in along with Yang Radio and it should come right up. And that's for the seekers only. So another way we can understand that this does not mean to be dead Um well, actually, even to, to mean uh, to die in the Bible, what does it mean to die when it speaks in the Bible? So 1 Corinthians 15 and 31, it says, I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. I die daily. And this is definitely why we don't read the Bible uh, literally. We don't want to read the Bible literally. So what does it mean to be absent from the body? Because we know that we can't die daily. So if you die daily, that means to be dead and to be absent from the body actually means something different in the Bible. It does not mean to be dead, literally. So let's get right into it. We all know that our brains are very busy. We have thoughts that run through our minds all day. All, every people, all types of people have all types of different thoughts. We all have good thoughts and we all have bad thoughts as well. And these thoughts can be easily triggered by our five senses. So this is what introduces meditation and uh, vain repetitions. And I have a couple more videos. If you look through the title of my videos, you'll get which ones are about prayer. And it all leads into that prayer is meditation. So when we cut off those five senses, including our sight, we are actually sitting with ourselves, sitting within ourselves. That darkness is within you where God dwells. Um, what it says, uh, Psalms 18 and 11, he made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. And I know it says the waters and the clouds, thick clouds of the skies, but doesn't the Bible also tell you that God dwells within you? And heaven is within you. And this is where God sits. And there's different videos I can uh, that you can look through that goes into more detail about this. Uh, especially I have one called God's Secret Place. So definitely take a look at that one. Type in God's Secret Place plus Yang Radio. So what happens when you sit in God's Secret Place? Matthew 4 and 16, it says, The people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region in the shadow of death, light has sprung up. And when I um, first started this journey, I actually wanted to see something physically because you actually do sometimes when you meditate, see light. And this is nothing that, uh, I mean, I won't say it's nothing. You can uh, meditate 
and not have any thought and actually see a visual light. But the my goal uh, personally is to see nothing and to sit in the actual darkness. And there are breathing exercises you can do to actually stop your thought process. But to each his own, everyone meditates differently. Uh, all right, so let's get into it. Well, when I uh, what ha helped me understand that I was not going to physically see anything was Second Corinthians four and eighteen. It says, "While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal." And the first thing I could think about was the story of Amnon raping his sister. And that all that all symbolized was that he was forced in the spirit. His sister was a virgin, so she did not lay with a man, which is the carnal mind. So this was a pure spirit. And this is what these stories mean. Uh, allegory and parables part one and two also. So you might want to take a look. All my videos are short. I try to keep them all under 10 minutes. So uh, it's something that uh, M9 said in 2 Samuel 13 and 6. He says, uh, it says, so Amnon lay down and made himself sick. And when the king was to come see him, Amnon said unto the king, I pray thee, let Tamar, my sister, come and make a couple cakes in my sight that I, that I may eat it at her hand. So definitely take a video, uh, take a look at that video to see why he wanted to see it. And remember that uh, the eternal things are unseen. So this is him forcing the spirit. All right, so in Matthew uh, 6 and 3, Jesus said, But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what the right hand what the right hand doeth, that thy alms uh, be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. And he said this about prayer as well. So how do we know that this works and this is not and how do we know that this is uh that meditating is not letting your left hand know what your right hand is doing and your left hand is your carnal mind right hand is the uh the right hand of god the right uh mind is the uh, divine mind so in john 1 and 5 it says the light that shineth in darkness in the darkness comprehended not so your left hand does not know what your right hand is doing when you are sitting in God's secret place. And there's a, um, a story of Jacob and Esau that a lot of people get wrong. And this is why the black Hebrew Israelites are so upset uh, with, with uh, white people and that they, are, they seem racist because they believe in these stories uh, literally. They believe that there was one black child and they believe that there was one white child born from one family and and that they believe in these stories literally that uh, Esau was a devil, Esau was a bad person. But these are symbolic stories. All right, so what happened? Jacob tricked his blind father into believing that his older brother, uh, he was his older brother to get the blessing. And please, uh, like I said, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to go deeper into this. And I have a... Um, let me uh, go into this. I have a, a video coming very soon that's going to go into detail. And this was not letting the left hand know what the right hand is doing. The father was the brain. The, car, the divine mind, excuse me. But I, like I said, I'll go deeper into that in another video. So hit that subscribe button and hit the like button to keep these videos going, uh, going viral. All right, so what did Jesus say in John 10 and 17? He said, therefore doth my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it up again. And this is the same thing as Moses ride turning into a snake after he laid it down and then he picked up the snake by the tail to get control of the carnal mind. So this is uh, letting you know that to be, uh, to be absent from the body is to meditate to be absent from your five senses, to be absent from the thoughts of the mind. And this is to be present with God that dwells within you. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I have more content coming soon. I have different types of content. I actually do a little cooking, which is about to get a lot more healthier. A lot of uh, travel, restaurant, different places of, of that nature. So 
Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll be back soon. This is Most Julius with Yag Radio. Thank you for listening.